So, this one is actually pretty interesting, and a lot of people don't realize how big of a deal it is. We all saw Qualcomm drop the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. Super powerful, crazy fast, all the good stuff. And now we have its smaller brother, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5. On paper, they look very close, right? Same 3 nanometer process from TSMC, similar CPU setup, basically the same family. But here's the part nobody talks about. The real difference is not the clock speed, it's the cache size. Yeah, I know, cache sounds boring, but trust me, this is where the magic happens. So what's going on? A very reliable tipster on Weibo says the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 actually has way less cache than the Snapdragon 8 Elite. And that matters a lot, especially when it comes to gaming. Let me explain it in simple terms. Cache is like super fast memory that sits inside the chip. Games use it to quickly load textures, physics, characters, everything. More cache equals smoother gameplay, higher FPS and fewer drops. Less cache means the chip has to work harder and fetch data from slower memory, which can slow things down. And here's the crazy part. The older Snapdragon 8 Elite actually has three times more L2 cache for its big performance cores than the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 5. Three times more. That is not a small difference. That's the kind of gap that can literally be day and night in high FPS gaming. The Elite has 12 megabytes of L2 cache, 8 megabytes of L3 cache, and it runs at 4.32 gigahertz. But the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5, only 4 megabytes of L2 cache for performance cores, 12 megabytes for the smaller efficiency cores, which doesn't help games much, and a slower 3.80 gigahertz clock speed. So yeah, a huge cut in the area that helps games run fast. But wait, didn't we see benchmarks already? We kinda did. There was an early N22 test on the OnePlus A6T, and the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 was only about 14% faster than the regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 5. So you might think, oh, only 14%, that's nothing. But that's synthetic benchmarks, not real gaming. In games, especially heavy ones like Genshin, COD Mobile, or Honkai Star Rail, that cache difference could hit harder. Cache affects frame stability, not just the top FPS number. So what does this mean in real life? Here's the big picture. Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 equals higher FPS, better stability, smoother gameplay. Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is still strong but might struggle in heavy gaming scenes. But, and this is important, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 might actually run cooler because of those lower clock speeds. That means less heat, less throttling, more stable, long gaming sessions. So while the Elite might start strong, the regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 could stay more consistent over time. Should we worry? Honestly, not yet. We don't have real gaming tests comparing both chips side by side, so everything right now is basically early info and tipster claims. Once gaming benchmarks drop, we'll know exactly how big the difference is. But from what we know now, the Snapdragon 8 Elite is still the real flagship for gaming. Think of it as the top tier chip for gamers, while the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is more like the cooler, more efficient version. Still fast, just not beast level like the Elite. So yeah, the fight between these two chips is going to be fun to watch. And if the cache difference really hits gaming performance, we're going to see some surprising results.